The drum is a, is a very sacred and, and powerful instrument that we use to communicate with the Creator, with all of the, um, the animals that help us, give us messages and guide us in various ways, and also uh, to communicate with the, uh, the powers of creation. To make a, a drum, um, we do a number of ceremonies and we make offerings. These things are sacred and they're very special and, and they need to be respected and honored in a proper way. And it takes many, many years of training with elders and relatives who use these things and to understand the context of the different ceremonies. I've learned to make the drum by, by being with the elders and watching them do these things. And I take it upon myself if I meet individuals that show an, an interest and demonstrate um, humility. I don't hesitate to, to teach them. That should be good there. Where's our scissors? It's a very rewarding way of retaining and, and actively practicing a lifestyle. We're not trying to live in the past, we're trying to live with the past and use the good things that our ancestors have, have handed down to us. this together now. <laughs> the origin of the songs that we would use on a drum like this, a two-sided ceremonial drum, would either come from our own personal visions or would come from one which had been handed down through generations. And we'll put that in too tight now because we'll come back and tighten it up after. We're really trying to hold on to the authenticity of our songs of the teachings of the drums. Down through there and up. Underneath. There you go. There, that's pretty good. But we've got to, we want to tighten this up. I think my, um, my goal is to give the kids information that they can understand and they can use. You know, someday I'll be, I'll be long gone and uh, they'll be turning around and saying, okay, we're going to make a drum today, or we're going to do a ceremony today, and this is what I remember. This is what I understand we are, we are going to do. Hey, oh, yeah. hey, oh, yeah.